How about Derek Carr and the Raiders? Let's get there. Okay, let's and go. And Ephraim, you know, Derek Carr, his last time we saw him, three picks, he was just awful. And they've decided to send him home, take your money, go home, and they're going to start uh, Jared Stidham uh, the last two games, who, of course, came from the Patriots, where Josh McDaniels came from, and supposedly they want to look at him and all that. I don't know what they're We're, looking for, but. Uh, thank you, because we've seen Jared Stidham. We have seen him. And, and help me with this. How do you, first of all, they weren't mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. How do you make this move? How do you, uh, uh, if, un, unless, to me, it's like punishment. This team with Josh McDaniels blew three leads, Ephraim, of 17 points or more. I don't think it's ever been done, or maybe one other time in the history of the league that's been around for 100 years. Mm -hmm. How in the world could you look, somehow they had a 17 point lead, right? By, by the quarterback, I'm, I'm assuming. They got uh, Devontae Adams, who they were able to get from the Packers. You add a player like that and you go backwards, they won like their last four games last year to make the playoffs. Why would you pull the plug now instead of playing the season out? If you were a player on the team, how would you feel? Um, This is where the business aspect of, of the NFL comes into play. The number one thing they can't have happen is Derek Carr get hurt. We have a term in the NFL locker room saying the writing's on the wall. Well, the writing's on the wall, right? Yeah, they they want to get out of that thirty-three they, million they, they owe. They're next going year. to get out of that. They won't be. They wouldn't be able to get out of it if he was hurt. And so, it, it, it's the situation where we're not going to put him out there, get him hurt, and then be stuck with that because we don't want. We're done with the Derek Carr uh, experiment. And, you know, this is a situation where Derek Carr is an average good quarterback. Right? He he is what he is. Everybody was waiting after the broken leg where he had a sensational year early in his career for right. him to take the next step and be this elite quarterback. It didn't happen. You get him the best receiver in the game. It still doesn't happen. And so at some point, you got to make a decision. They brought Josh McDaniels in. They're going to hold on to him. They're not going to get rid of him. I think they still might even be paying, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, did they get out of that contract? Uh, uh, Gruden? Gruden? Yeah, that, they had a settlement. They, they, got a, a settlement, they owed him right? like $40 million, Yeah, but, yeah but they, they owed him $40 million, right? Forty million, which was a ridiculous uh, contract to give a coach. Well, well, they do. Ten years, they, they $100 do, million. They do silly things. We know that. Um, but they're at a situation now where they're like, look, we need to get ahead of this early. We need to start making inroads about what we're going to do at the quarterback position. Is it going to be we draft somebody or can we get Tom Brady for a year? Look, they're, they're, have, they're starting to think about next year now. Now, to the player, it seems like it's just a slap in the face, right? Devontae Adams is upset. The only reason I came here is because of Derek Carr. Right. Well, we're paying you, so you're here. He can act for a trade. He can do all of those things he wants. They're paying him a lot of money. He's owed a lot of money. And if they hit the right quarterback, like if they go, if something shakes out to, and this is all hypothetical, of course, if they go, in let's say in July, or no, not even July. Let's say in in April, May, they say, "Hey, we're gonna get Tom Brady, Devonte Adams." I think he'll be okay. I think he'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, but right? the, I I get that. But what if you don't? And yeah, imagine, I, I get I get the you know what, what I mean. Like yeah. he, he did sign up because that's his college quarterback. That's the only and, reason. We knew that when he signed that that deal to go. We knew you don't leave uh, Aaron Rodgers to go to Derek Carr. Right, like, right. Unless you have Unless some sort of Unless there's right. a personal uh, relationship there. We get that. We, 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 we get right. it. It's a lot of money, though. It's a lot of money. He's not going anywhere. He could be upset. I've been upset uh, leaving teams. A guy's been uh, traded. And I get it. I understand. That is the emotional aspect that we have as players. Uh, but there's the business aspect that supersedes all of that. 
They don't care. They don't care if you're upset. No. Their and, care and, and is you, the fact that right. those checks clear every week. That that that's what we care. But look, man, you can take your money. You can sulk, but you better perform. You know what but I mean? No, there's no doubt about it, Ephraim. And you're and you're right when you talk about the business side. And you can't, of course, cut the guy if he's injured. So you don't want him to get hurt in the last two games, and then you're stuck. But but who do you blame for this season? Because I I think Josh McDaniels. I know people. In football, they like him, and he was with Brady, and you want to give him all the accolades. Some guys are just great coordinators and aren't great head coaches. One hundred percent. Yep. And he and he won his first six games. If you go do the math, take away those first six, it's been downhill ever since as head coach, Ephraim. And I, I want us to play the blame game. Who do you blame for the mess that is the Raiders? Is it Derek Carr? Who, who, who had a bad year. Mm-hmm. Is it Mark Davis, the owner, mm-hmm. who's done nothing but bad deals, contracts? They just gave uh, Derek Carr his deal last year. Yeah. <laughs> this is, Ephraim, this ain't like a contract from four years ago, right? Didn't mm-hmm. he, he, signed, he signed this contract this past offseason. You get Josh McDaniels got a deal you can't really get out of for four years. He gave the John Gruden 10-year, $100 million deal. So is it him? Is it Josh McDaniels, a team that blows the leads? If they didn't blow those three 17-point-plus leads, where would they be? Think about that. They lost to Jeff Saturday in his Mm. first ever game. The guy came off the TV set and beat the Raiders in his first ever game with no preparation and with a play caller who had never called plays. they're, They're playing uninspired football. And that starts at the top with the head coach. They're playing uninspired football. And, and, and that's basically what it is. You you have a team that shows up every week, and they're just there. They're just there. When you look at the Minnesota Vikings, and they've won an unprecedented 11 one-score games. Which never happens in the NFL. It's, 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 re, it's hard to do that. But that's because they're inspired. No matter what's happening in a game, they feel like they can win. They can overcome it. That is the complete opposite of the feeling that I get when I watch the Raiders play. Whether they're giving up a lead, whether they're trying to gain the lead, it just seems like it's uninspired. Too many mistakes, too many penalties, too many uh uh, turning the ball over, it just doesn't seem like it's very inspired, and that starts with Josh McDaniels. It really does, and I know they're not trying to pay another coach. He just got there, Ephraim, but I, I believe it, it, it's him. There's no way this team should have taken a step back. They made the playoffs a year ago, and they only got better. I'm sorry, they only got better. And there's no reason they should be in this situation. And now, uh, giving snaps to, to Jared uh, Stenham. Really? If you're yeah. a Raiders fan, you got to be sick. You gotta well, you, be like, you've been sick the whole year. <laughs> you've been sick the whole year. If you're a Raiders fan, you've been sick the whole year. You, I, like, it, this is just what it is. right? You, you, you've been accustomed to being sick. No, right? You're right. And it started with the tuck. Right? Or the, the, the tuck rule. It's just been a downhill, just, oh. It know. has been so bad.